break it down. We welcome in the goalkeeper, Cassidy Smith, who is in her seventh year, yet it's her first BYU Sports Nation interview. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you. How, how do you make it seven years and this is your first time on here? I don't know. I don't that's know. our bad. Yeah, I think that's a you problem. It's a us oh, yes, problem, yeah. That's not you my have, problem. Your that's career your problem. has spanned three presidents of the United States. That's um, unbelievable. Yeah, I didn't know that till I walked in here. I was like, oh, that's that's trouble. I, <laughs> I, maybe I didn't want to know that. Everybody's at home right now going... Wait a minute. How can she be here seven years? So you better explain how you how you got how you can be here for seven years. Okay. Um, yeah, I could actually be here eight, but we're gonna call it quits. Oh, after oh seven. shoot, man! Um, because of COVID, right? Yep. Oh my! Come oh. on, do it. Break a record. Yeah. But but explain you're, how you can be here seven and maybe eight. Um. So I did a chosen red shirt, chosen, um, my freshman year, and then I had two medical red shirts, um, following that, and then I had the COVID year, so that's why I could do the eighth year. So. What, what were the injuries that caused the medical red shirts? Two labrum tears in my shoulders. So. One in each. One in each, and then I tore my other one right before COVID as well. But just haven't got it surgically repaired yet. So, so. you're playing as a goalkeeper. You have to raise said arms and shoulders <laughs> with a torn labrum in your right shoulder? Yes. Are you right-handed? I am right-handed. How so is when, that? When you go up and, and, and you get a, a stop, does it hurt? If you stick out that right arm and, and somebody kicks the ball right into it, does that hurt that leg? Oh, wait. That motion made me cringe. But oh, no. <laughs> I definitely have to learn how to – I've had to learn how to dive differently, done a ton of rehab on it. Um, but, yeah, just try and keep my shoulder in front – my arm in front of my body, and I'm usually okay. Just can't let it go oh, back here. Every time so. Cassie makes a save, I'm going to cringe now. <laughs> Seriously. That's, just... that's incredible that you're playing through that. How – Throughout your career, you've waited for kind of your time to be the starter, right? What what was it like to patiently wait, get healthy, and now these last two years have been outstanding seasons. You guys are hoping to really make this a special one. Yeah, I just feel really grateful. Um, I think going into our COVID spring season and then this one especially, it's just felt special. And... I have, I mean, I've had people tell me, like, do it for you. Like, this is what you've worked for. Um, but for me, I've just felt nothing but gratitude. Um, see it as a gift as being able to still play despite a crummy shoulder, but just trying to soak in every second of it. And now you find yourselves hosting an NCAA tournament, a game here, a match tonight. Um, or not tonight, Saturday. Saturday. Cassie's um, like, what? <laughs> I guess it's like, no, I wait a minute, I'm not, I don't have my <laughs> mind ready. I'm talking to you guys, and you guys are messing up my mind. Yeah. I'm talking about all these. But so on Saturday, you host an NCAA tournament game. What's, what's that like to, to have a game in the tournament at home? That is something that's really special. There's nothing like playing on Southfield. And, I mean, all across the country we have a fan base that's huge, right? But Southfield, our fans, they're the difference maker, the energy difference. Um, and we, we play for our fans for sure. We rise to that energy. So we could not be more excited, especially a tournament game. So. Oh, it's going to be great. 7 Eastern on BYU TV, BYU in New Mexico, a little Mountain West history there. You're old but not that old to have played in the Mountain West. But we're talking to super-duper <laughs> senior Close. Cassidy Smith. Let's talk about New Mexico and because you've got a win to advance. Um, and even before that, were you guys surprised that you got a seed? Because your ranking is excellent, but that doesn't actually fare into the conversation. It's RPI, it's record. Yeah. You guys got a seed, and that's probably validating. Yeah, for sure. I, I was surprised personally. Um, we didn't get the wins we wanted in our preseason, and so we knew that was going to impact our seeding in the tournament. So I was surprised, and if it, but didn't really change how I was going to prepare or go into it. Um, New Mexico's a good team, so just taking it one step at a time. What, what's the uh, the key to a victory against New Mexico, like specific to New Mexico? I know you have some things that are the same all the time. Hey, score more goals than the other team, shut them out. That'll do it. But specific to this team, what, what does BYU have to do? Um, what we've been focusing on this week, at least, is just doing what we do. Um, we play with a super high intensity, high pace, and uh, high pressure, high pressure defense. And so we believe if, if we just do what we do, it doesn't matter who we play. Um, we can 
we can get the job done just by focusing on us. So. Certainly you have to beat New Mexico, but there is a Sweet 16 potential matchup with Virginia who knocked you out last year. Mm-hmm. Have you thought about it? <laughs> yeah, it's hard not <laughs> to think about that, especially with the last year's score, but um, definitely trying to stay present, but we I was stoked to be in their same bracket. Mm. Definitely want a second second chance at them. So That'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. I, I, I love how – so coaches always go, oh, do we play Virginia? And the coaches know they sat down and looked at that, right? But they'll <laughs> never never say that. But players, and you know this, you look at that bracket and go, oh, man, we need to beat these guys. I want those guys. These guys I want. You do. You look at it's the whole okay bracket, to, right? It's okay to it, dream. Isn't it okay? Mm-hmm. Like, you can do sure. that and come back and focus on the game at hand, right? Oh, yeah. Yep, totally. So, yeah. Okay, this team has been really special. Uh, I know in the spring you guys wanted to do more. And then it was, like, weird to see Santa Clara go and win the national championship because you're on par with them. You split with them. So do you feel like this team needs to make a run to validate how good you are in the NCAA tournament? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think what has been special about this season is it being so close to our spring season. We were able to just pick up where we left off. And there wasn't ever this convincing ourselves of, oh, we can do this, we can do this. It's just been deep in us. Like, Mm. we know what we're capable of. Um, Didn't take any convincing or... um, Special rah-rah. Yeah, like, it was just, this is what we, this is our goal. Um, And Santa Clara doing it last year made it really realistic for us. We knew, I mean, we beat them last spring, and we knew things should have been different last spring. Fell short a little bit, but... No, I think we're really excited. Starting at home certainly helps. Yes, For it the does. tourney, you went to, you know, you went away, yeah. right, as everyone did. So, so the mindset, and you and I talked about this before we just came on. I said, is, is this a team that can go win the national championship? And and you said? Yeah. I uh, Let's go do it. I think that's yeah. what I said. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what you said. And the, and the final four, honestly, is the only thing really missing on Jen's resume. She, just getting to that one, right, would yeah. be everything. Yet it starts with New Mexico, and then you work your way uh, mm-hmm. there. Yeah. And you have all the pieces, which is exciting. And, Blaine, it's been so fun to watch this team all year because you, you might have the best player in the country in Michaela Coolhan. Cam Tucker scores a million goals. you got a million great pieces around you. Have you ever been bored during a game where you're up like 5 nothing and you have to like stay engaged? Because I've joked that like you've been reading a book back there. You know, <laughs> like, you're the goalie, and the ball sometimes doesn't even come in the, that half. You know? yeah. What's that like? Um, those games are actually more stressful for me than other <laughs> ones because Why? it's way harder to get in the, the flow in those mm. games. Whereas if it's an intense Pepperdine game, it's like, oh, I'm in, I'm locked in, flowing, really not too nervous, right? It's high intensity, but I'm like locked in. It's the ones where I'm sitting back there, it's freezing cold. I'm trying to bounce <laughs> up and down and like stay warm. Um, so I... I wouldn't say I get bored. I'm more stressed, actually. So <laughs> That's interesting. The more, the more you're engaged in the action, the more you're in. You the don't even worry about it. Yeah. The more there is to just think about yeah. it and stand back there. The yeah. But, but that hilarious. means the pressure D you're talking about is doing a great job out in front of you. Yes, for sure. So, I, I have to say, Jared, but before we came on, I said, is this a team that can win? You know, And she goes, yeah, let's go. And, and it reminded me, before the Arizona State game, I, I ran up to D'Angelo Mandel. Arizona State throws the ball a bunch. I said, D'Angelo, these guys, what do you think about this? And he goes, Oh, they're going to challenge me a lot. They're going to come right at me. And I said, what do you think? And he goes, oh, bring it. <laughs> Cassidy had the same bring energy. Let's she go. was like, let's go. Yes. Let's go do this. Let's yes. go win a national championship. I love it. And we should uh, congratulate you on uh, getting the co-conference championship in dramatic fashion Saturday. That was really fun. Thank you. Yeah, Double OT. Funny. Cam Tucker bringing it home. So yep. congratulations. We look forward to Saturday's game, 7 Eastern time on uh, BYU TV. Stay, yeah. stay warm and don't uh, st- uh, stay engaged, Jeff. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Let's, let's, we'll go. Do. let's go. Let's go get it. Let's go, go get that tournament. So.